Hey, this is Amal from Tale of the Craft. I want to take a moment to talk about a cool case I picked up. This is from In One Cases. It is a multi-tool style case. I want to review it really quick. I'm into multi-tools and EDC. You guys know there are times where we don't always have a multi-tools with us. When we leave the house, it's not a problem because we have it clipped to our jeans or our cargo pants or whatever. But when you're at home, like hanging out on the couch or sitting in some sweats or whatever, it's not always with us. And we leave it, you know, by the door, by the dresser or whatever. So a lot of times our tools aren't with us, especially when we're at home. But for most people, most of us, most techies, our phones are always near us, almost always at arm's length, if you know what I'm talking about. So this is a really nice case. It has a nice felt on the inside. It is made of a hard black plastic. They do have different color options. I will post links in the description. You can go check them out. So like the blue tools, for example, are different colors. This one specifically is for the iPhone 6S Plus. When you get the phone in there, it's kind of tricky because it is a hard plastic to get it in there. But once you get it in, it's pretty solid. It's just hard to tell when it is in all the way because there's obviously a space in the back there for the tools to slide in. So it doesn't sit in there like a normal case would. But once it's in, it's pretty solid. It's not coming out. There is a nice kickstand on the back. And it's actually a nicer kickstand than some of the other kickstands I've seen. It's pretty solid. It works really well. So the tools here, I'll be referencing Swiss Army knives a lot because they remind me a lot of Swiss Army knives. So the first tool is a bottle opener. It's a nice, works pretty well. The next tool here reminds me a lot of the Swiss Army knife scissors that you see. Spring is nice and springy. It's solid. The metal on this is not exactly the same as the Swiss Army metal, but it's, it's still a pretty nice solid build. These tweezers again, very similar to the Swiss Army knife style tweezers. This tool has a nail file and a flathead screwdriver on the top for some of the little bit larger screws. There's a precision screwdriver I'll show you in just a little bit. This is a precision Phillips head screwdriver. It is nicely tooled. Next, a flathead precision screwdriver. And then we have a plastic toothpick design. And next we have a ballpoint pen. This pen writes in blue. Overall, guys, a really nice set of tools. You notice there is no knife, so it is safe to carry around with you anywhere. You won't have any issues. The cutouts are done well. You can access all of the buttons. On the bottom, you will notice that there is a wide opening for your charging headphones and your speaker. And on top also, the reason it's designed like that is because you can get the phone out of the case when you need to. It is something to be aware of, though, because technically there's part of the edge that is not protected if you were to fall kind of flat on the face. Only the thing I can't tell right off the bat is a bit of a tempered glass screen protector. So it does appear to sit flush exactly with the edge of the case. Something to be aware of. Anyway guys, I really like this case. It's a really cool concept. I hope that N1 Cases continues to make them and come out with more. Stay tuned. I will have more tech, EDC, multi-tool, and leather and leather craft stuff coming up on my channel. Thanks for watching.